This is calculator question number 29. College Board gives us a scatter plot with a line of best fit for a minimum wage, and they give us the equation for the line of best fit, y equals 0.096x minus 0.488, and they ask for an interpretation of this equation where choices A and B talk about the average increase each year, and C and D talk about the average increase each decade. So they're asking about the slope. The slope in this equation is 0 0.096, where our variable x is years, not decades. And if you're not sure whether x is years or decades, because unusually for College Board, they did not tell us what x stands for, the x-axis is labeled years since 1940. So even though it's not explicit in the paragraph, it's in the label. Also, if you put in x equals 7, that will give you basically 0.7 minus 0.5 is about 0.2 for minimum wage when the actual minimum wage is just below 6. If you put in x equals 70, that will give you basically 7 minus 0.5 is about 6.5, which is pretty close. So you can confirm either from the labels on the graph or from substituting in a large value like 70, whether x is years or decades. Since x is years and not decades, the slope is every year and not every 10 years. That rules out choices C and D. And the slope is the coefficient of x. y equals mx plus b. m is 0 0.096 and m is the slope. So the correct answer is A and not B. College Board frequently asks you to interpret the slope or intercept or both in context, and it's worth practicing this skill and slowing down to read carefully when you're answering these questions. Come back soon for my next video with math there's always more.